hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will discuss about the week 7 assignment 7 of database management system for question number 1 we have been given the following schedule and we have to identify the correct option so drawing the precedence graph of the following transaction we observe that the graph has no cycle so it is conflict serializable and since it is conflict serial serializable it is also view serializable so for this answer is option c that is the schedule is both view and conflict serializable schedule for the second question we have to find the correct represent of the order of execution of the transaction for this the precedence graph of the transaction is as follows and the order in which they execute is first is t2 then t4 then t3 and finally t1 which is option b for the third question the answer is option C for the fourth question the possible number of view serializable schedule is uh, option C which is 2 for the fifth question the number of possible conflict serializable schedule is option D which is 4 for the sixth question there are three transaction t1 t2 and t3 with timestamp 12 16 and 20 respectively we have to find the correct statement in respect of wound weight deadlock prevention scheme so for this wound weight deadlock prevention state so in wound weight deadlock prevention scheme when t1 requests the data item held by t2 two cases may arise first is that if t1 is older older means smaller timestamp then t2 then t1 wants t2 that is t2 will be aborted and if t1 is younger than t2 then t1 will wait to release the data item held by t2 so in this case that transaction T1 is older because its timestamp is less which is 12 and T3 is younger in respect of transaction T2 because the timestamp of T2 is uh, T3 is more which is 20 second than T2 which is 16. So the younger uh, the older transaction will abort and the younger transaction will be waiting so for this answer is option b and c that is t3 will wait for t2 to release and t1 will wound transaction t2 for question 7 there are two schedule and s1 will not suffer the deadlock and s2 will suffer from deadlock which is option c for the eighth question there are two transaction given in which uh, shared locked and exclusive locked is there so we have to identify the statement which is correct so the Transaction T1 first commits and then unlocks all the logs that is exclusive mode lock and the shared mode lock that is why T1 will follow the regress to face locking protocol but transaction T2 first unlocks all the logs that is exclusive mode lock and shared mode, mode lock and then commits that is why it follow the normal to face locking protocol but not regress two-phase locking protocol or strict two-phase locking 
protocol so for this answer is option d that is t1 will follow the rigorous two-phase locking protocol but t2 will not follow the strict two-phase locking protocol for the question number nine we have been given two schedules and we have to identify the correct statement about both the schedule so for a schedule to be recoverable if a transaction tj reads a data item previously written by a transaction ti the commit operation of the ti must appear before the commit operation of tj to be a recoverable schedule so in schedule s2 the r2x reads the data written by w1x and t1 is committing before t2 so it is recoverable schedule and in schedule s1 r2x which is in transaction t2 in s1 schedule it reads the data written by w1x and t1 transaction commits before the t2 so it is also recoverable schedule so option d is correct and for cascadeless schedules each pair of the transaction ti and tj should be such that tj reads the data item previously written by ti and the commit operation of ti should appear before the read operation of tj so in schedule s1 in transaction t2 r2x reads the data written by w1x and t1 is committing before the read operation r2x so it is cascadeless schedule so for this answer is option b and d for the last question we have to identify the correct option which are used for the transaction control language so the uh, command used for the transaction control languages are commit rollback save point and set transaction so in the given question the option which matches is option a and b which is rollback and set transaction so if you have got any different answer do mention it in the comment section and if there is any changes in the answer i will pin it in the comment section so before the final submission of your assignment do check the comment section of the video and if you found the video helpful do like the video and share the video with your friends thank you for watching the video